In 1931, the Depression was just setting in across the South. Many Americans believed that the situation wasn't nearly as bad as it seemed. When hungry farmers in England, Arkansas took matters into their own hands, they found a hero in the unlikeliest of places. It's incredible when you think about the flood of 1927 because it had a tremendous impact on agriculture. And I think obviously we can imagine that a big flood will kill the crops. When the waters receded in many parts of Arkansas, it left about a foot and a half of sand. So it was impossible for them to even plant a crop in 1928. And people knew something was really wrong as early as May of 1930. And by the time we get to August, there were estimates that they might be able to make it to December, and then there would literally be a famine. Our Kansans knew how to do without cash, but that making do spirit they're running up against something that they just can't overcome. Will Rogers was actually considered one of the first multimedia stars. He was kind of this folksy, all shucks humorist who uh, appealed to the common man by his uh, attacking Congress, uh, Wall Street, uh, the powers that be. He was uh, born and raised in Northeast Oklahoma, just miles from the Arkansas border. He read the paper, in fact, he said, I only know what I read the paper. And uh, the papers in January of 1931, from the pe first front page of the New York Times to all of them were talking about this food riot in England, Arkansas. It was very hard in England to get Red Cross aid. H.C. Coney, who ended up leading the farmers, he was getting about $12 a month for a family of seven. In today's money, that would be like trying to feed a family of seven on about $200 a month. He just hit a breaking point. He gathered up some other farmers and went to England and first tried to get more Red Cross aid. And then the Red Cross told them that they were out of the paper application blanks that they would fill out to get aid. And that was just the breaking point. In some accounts, they say they were armed. and other accounts, they say they weren't armed. They demanded food from the merchants. And the merchants did allow these farmers to get food to save their children. For most of his career, Will Rogers was uh, Nonpartisan, he would uh, do comic jabs at, at anyone, uh, Democrat, Republican, but with what he observed in England, Arkansas, where he flew to DC and talked to Hoover after this England food riot, appealing to Hoover, the government should do more. Hoover uh, felt that uh, local communities with their local Red Cross chapters, churches, neighbors, they should be uh, the main line of response uh, to hunger and local disasters. Will Rogers wasn't satisfied with Hoover's answer. Uh, shortly after that, Will Rogers flew to England, Arkansas himself to observe uh, what was going on. From there, he drove to Little Rock and got on national radio and said, I'm going to do a drought relief tour, do 50 different shows, through Texas, Oklahoma, and Arkansas, actually 18 days. 19 of those shows were in Arkansas. He would do his act and raise money, and it was very successful, and also, Will Rogers really went after government policies uh, that wouldn't allow distribution of food. There was cattle and uh, crops raised that were destroyed. Will Rogers didn't understand what's all going on here. This doesn't, doesn't make sense. For him, the England food riot did give him a personal platform of children in America starving that he could write about. I don't think the term was used at the time, but there's some people who think it was fake news. I don't think anybody denies there was a food riot, but were there hundreds or just you know four families? We're sort of all guilty of that. You believe what you want to believe, and at some point, you start gravitating to the things that support your beliefs. It makes you wonder why did it become almost a footnote in Arkansas history and American history? Because it was so big at the time and causing so much discussion, 
speaking on the floor of Congress about it, and uh, papers all over the country were editorializing on it, not just republishing a wire story, but commenting on it. And uh, part of that was the power of Will Rogers of elevating the topic. Belief is a powerful thing. A strongly held belief can change the world. America changed around President Hoover, and no matter how hard he believed, truth from the mouth of Will Rogers was the only thing that could help the country. Thank you.